So before this video starts, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys like my team content, I upload pretty much two my team videos every single day. Remember to subscribe. We are so close to 30,000 subscribers and we are trying to hit that goal by NBA 2K18, which is like the middle of September. So anyway, now let's get on to the video. What is going on guys, DBG here and in this video I'm going to be doing a squad with the worst defensive players in the NBA. No people like James Harden and Enos Kanter aren't on this squad because statistically they were not the worst defenders last season. These 10 players were the two worst defenders at their respective positions and we've also got three other players that were high up on the list. So at point guard we've got Reggie Jackson who was actually worse defensively than Isaiah Thomas. Reggie Jackson was absolutely terrible on defense last season and he was seen as a franchise changing point guard for the Detroit Pistons. Oh how the times have changed since he got hurt. At the two we've got Alex Abrines, he's long but literally is one of the worst, if not the worst defenders in the NBA. At the three, we've got Wiggins, who had a lot of defensive potential coming into the NBA, but his defensive IQ is poor, and he plays a lot of reactive defense rather than proactive. He's not the best team defender. He's not the best on-ball defender. While he is relatively quick and long, he's just not good on that end of the floor. At the four, we've Anthony Tolliver, the worst defensive power forward. He's pretty much got a jump shot, that's about it. And the exact same with Channing Fry, who played center a lot last year for Cleveland Cavaliers. Good offensive player, poor defensive player. Off the bench, the one we've got Isaiah Thomas, all NBA second team. Definitely not all NBA second team defense. One of the worst defenders in the league. He's five foot nine, meaning that he's so probably so bad on that end that the Boston Celtics will never win a championship or come close with him as their point guard. At the two, we've got Aaron Aflalo, who was actually known as a lockdown defender at one stage. But yeah, he struggled big time last season, was statistically one of the worst defenders. At the three, we've got Carmelo Anthony. Again, never known for his defense, statistically really bad, but statistically better than uh, Andrew Wiggins. At the four, we've got Marquise Chris. Not really known for his terrible, terrible defense, but apparently, according to the stats, he was terrible. And then there's Jalil Okafor, who just literally just plays offense. That's it. Then we've got Ingram, Nick Young, and Damian Lillard. The funniest thing is Nick Young, people are saying that he started to pick up his defense a lot. But the thing is, he was defending well at the very start of the year. But as soon as the game started to matter, he became one of the worst defensive players in the NBA again. And he was on the list, I think, as the third worst defensive small forward in the NBA. So anyway, now let's get on to the game. I think we stand no chance if the team we're playing is half decent. Okay, so we're playing second prestige, Diamond League player. Who's got pink diamond Michael Jordan? He's got pink diamond Jordan. Oh my god, how are we meant to win this game? We've got no chance. We've got the worst defensive team in the game, and he's got possibly the best offensive team in the game. Okay, I don't know what error that was. But okay, so we're playing an all-diamond team this time. Not a god squad, but it's still a great squad. That duo is very OP. In the corner. Let's go, Tolliver. Let's go! Toy game! Alright, the one thing we have are centers that can shoot the ball. Except for the bench where Jalil just can't shoot it at all. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh my god, I have no idea what, he, what that shot even was. Alright, just stand. Oh, D, no. I can't even say good defense, because this team just does not play any defense at all. Please make the layup. Come on, Wiggins, make the layup! At least we got something on our bench. At least we got some sort of offense on our bench. We had nothing on our starters. Well, to be fair, they are the single worst defensive players in the NBA, so they were never going to be great. But still. In the corner to Melo. Put it up. And Melo, make the three. Come on. Oh, nice cut. Please make the layup of Lalo. Let's go. All right, back to four. We're somehow still still in this game. I don't know how, but we are. Please hit that one, Melo. Why can't you hit a three, Carmelo Anthony? As the third one you've missed, it's been a full white bar. And they came right down and dunked it. Let's go, Okafor. Oh my god, you had a layup. Why did you cock it back? And they've gone and hit this three as well, haven't they? Of course they have. We're down 13 now at the end of the first. Defense Okafor. Oh, good rebound. Oh, pull up. Let's go, Marquise Chris. Marquise Chris is literally the only player on the floor that's done anything. 
Meadow zero, Oka four zero. None of the others scored. Let's go, Mellow. I know it's two. Put the ball in the basket, Mellow. Like, Marquise Chris is literally the only player on the bench that's, like, playing any sort of basketball right now. Do not help off Kawhi. Why did you help off Kawhi? Okay. At least we half made up for it, I think. Get up to the corner, dive at him. Could help, I think, Abrines. Nope, they hit a three. It's now a 15-point game. Wow. Well, our team is terrible. We've got two bronzes, a silver, a gold, and an amethyst on the floor right now. All right, so we're down 17 points right now. And 17 points. And we're still in the second quarter. You know our team is bad, but like, we shouldn't be down 17 to anyone. The basket, Lillard. Let's go. Oh, Swaggy P for three. Hit the jump shot. Why can't my team hit jump shots? We hit one three-pointer in the game, and that was Anthony Tolliver. And one, of course. Of course. Let's go, Ingram. Okay, the comeback starts right now. The comeback starts now. Oh my god, Wiggins, how did you not steal that ball? The defense, Ingram. Let's go. What? What? That's a two yard hand pass. Say, it's a two yard chest pass. That is a two yard chest pass. We are currently 3 of 11 from wide open jumps. We're shooting like 38% from the field. And you'd think it would be our defense that would be letting us down. It's our offense as much as anything. Come on, Lillard. We're down 19 points at halftime. Please, Wiggins. Why can't my players hit shots? They're all wide open. All right, let's go. The comeback's on. It's less than double scores. Let's go, Okafor. Let's go, let's push it. Okay, Melo, green. Okay, I think Melo needs a green light to put the ball in the basket. Melo's sapphire is way better than his ruby. Am I the only one who thinks that? Like, I can't hit a shot with Melo's ruby, but his sapphire is a beast for me. Let's go, Okafor. Okay, so I might just feed the post and see how that works out. Because that seems to be doing better than uh, me trying to score with threes. Okay, Marquis Chris wide open top of the key. And he hits the three point shot. Like, Marquis Chris got 10 points. He's done very well. All right, back to 17 points. Like, I think we might. Like, if they start shooting bad shots, we, we're still in this game. Like, it's almost over, but it's not over. Hey, okay, we're back to the worst defensive lineup in pretty, probably in history. This is probably the worst defensive five in history. Oh, come on. All right, and to be fair, we're playing probably the worst game of offense I've ever played in 2K17. Let's go, Fry. That's open. You're a three-point shooter. You do one thing and shoot threes. Why do you not do that well? And we just get jammed on by Paul Millsap. So a 25-point game. We're shooting 35% from the field. 35% from the field. What type of cut is that like? What type of pop is that? Oh my god, like, we cannot hit a jump shot. Like, bad NBA players are still pros. They're still unbelievable. Like, the worst NBA player is still an unbelievably good basketball player. I don't understand why people are calling people scrubs, because there's no such thing as a scrub in the NBA. Sim Valar is probably the closest thing to it. And we're just getting killed. We are just getting killed right here. Let's go Breen in the corner. The Wiggins, jam that. Don't get blocked. Okay, that's a nice dunk. Let's go, 23. The goal was never to win this game. The goal right now is winning 20. So we lose by 22 in the end. Not a bad effort considering the team we had, but I still think we could have kept that one in 20. So let's have a look at the team comparison. We shot 40% from the field and 30% from three. We shot 51 and 46. We actually shot 45% in the second half and 50 in the fourth quarter. Box score for him, Mark Soldier 15, Harden 14. For us, we had 10 with Marquis Chris, 5 with Reggie Jackson, 5 with Lillard, 5 with Abrines, 5 with Tolliver, 5 with Oak, 4 with Oak, 4, 3 with Isaiah Thomas, we got 2 with Ingram, we got 2 with Mello, we got 2 with Flow, 2 with Fry, 2 with Wiggins, 
and Swaggy P was the only player who did not score. So anyway, that's the video. This is not my opinion on who the, most, who the worst defensive players are. This team is literally just statistically the worst defensive players in the NBA. Obviously, there's a lot of players like James Harden, Enos Cantor, who aren't on this team that you think probably should. But statistically, they weren't as bad as these guys. And I don't know why Alex Sabrina is just like generic player number five. 2K logic. But anyway, that's the video. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. And as always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.